talk about the beard first. Is it laid down or is it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, it looks good. Does it? Yeah. Nice. You should do that challenge where you flip your head like upside down. Have you seen that? <laughs> no. Nah. Oh, I did. Yo, yeah. no lie. I took a photo. I didn't post that shit today. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome, weird. welcome to the Optic Podcast episode number 60, Deuce. Uh, we're missing a co-host today, but doesn't matter. We will make up with it with Will. Will's, Will's, <clears throat> Will's I will serve two. as two people, myself and the and picture and myself. <laughs> You love to see it. You love to see it. Will, uh, a lot of so. questions. My, my first one is, with a three-man couch, why are you guys sitting so close? Together? I guess Depressed. it's easier for the camera. It's yeah. not a big is this deal. the other microphone? Like, it just comes out? Yeah, but they, I, I don't think they... Let oh, me they see. didn't turn it on. Yeah, they didn't well, turn okay. it on. I like being close to Jack. Yeah. 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 Um, so, I guess, I mean, shit, man. It's it, it Probably episode number 35 was the last one that you appeared on. Like, No, come on, man. How many, did, how many do you think long. we did? I thought we did a lot. I mean, we we were kind of missing the schedule every couple of weeks. Why did we though, man? You know well, what? There was what? a lot of audio issues. Yeah, I remember that, which I think we have figured out now. Right? Yeah, no, we do. the The problem is this, man. That that device you see it right there on the on the table. Yeah, that device has been around for so long that we could have just been using that instead of using. Remember, we used the computer. We recorded into the computer and then we edited. it. This thing literally records all the voices, different track audios, and then you can individually raise the volume of each bro it, uh, uh, my, my 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 the most annoying thing in this life and jack you you can agree to this because you work with pcs when a pc doesn't work when it when you do everything right it pisses you off right yes you know what else this you know what i'm saying like for the longest time and i and i can go back as far as when i first started making videos i'm talking about during call of duty 2 this 2000 and Five late 2005 because I bought my first house in 26 so 2006 and I had already been playing Call of Duty and I I I, I had residual income because I was working at, a, at the, in the mortgage and I was mur- mur- murdering the mur- the mortgage uh, game mm-hmm. giving out all those subprime loans giving something. up all the subprime loans to people I didn't do it. I just closed them the oh, the, 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 the loan you know, office started the financial crisis oh he one was, of them he was a beast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah it, that's why he's not allowed back in that area i i, I always joke that you know i tried I, after mortgages and after the, the mortgage bubble went bust i went to go work at aig and then aig got yeah. that that uh things went well that influx so i think yeah. is it me you am were, i am i gonna do the were, same you were in the big short and then am I, <laughs> wait yeah am i gonna do the same thing to esports you think just by me being in it Hundred percent. I mean, you're, yeah. Wow, is this bubble gonna it's, burst? It's gonna, gonna burst? No, uh, but it's funny you mentioned that about PCs because I actually it's crazy to think, but I literally view it's almost like your health. Like you just wake up every day and you kind of take your health for granted, and then days where you feel sick, you're like, man, I am so grateful for those days that it, I'm my health's good. I wake up every day just assuming my PC and everything's gonna work, yeah. and then when it doesn't work, I'm like, man. What did it? Well, like I, I, I'm like I. The days where my PC works, I'm so grateful for now. It's like when my internet didn't work at the launch of season five. Yeah, I literally booked a flight to New Jersey to have my exact setup so I could just sit down. I saw you tweet that you were serious about that. Like oh, you I were about to. Booked. And then Jesus. and then it, like I woke up at like four thirty in the morning to go to the bathroom and uh, check the internet really quick. It still worked. And then because when you book a flight, you can cancel within twenty four hours. I just instantly canceled. I got my money back and I didn't need my backup plan. I mean, I offered my. You setup, did. You totally did. Um, but which is ten thousand times better than yours. Okay. Except I, I. You just wait. Wait until I got my stuff that's in order right now. It's still not gonna be better than mine. <laughs> okay. I, I'm fucking, if it is, guess what? It won't be for long. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I thought mine was good. I tried to stream the other day at like ten thousand, ten thousand bit rate. Yeah. Is that normal? I like a good PC. I, I know nothing. Of the I, mean, I don't need. I tried that, and my encoding, literally, my CPU usage went to like 110, percent and it almost blew. Back. <laughs> so I just had to like dial it back for a little bit. But. Yeah, I think I do 6K bit rate, and then yeah, that's what I moved it down to. Yeah, that's 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 much more standard. Yep. 10K is like what you record in. Oh shit! I was recording at like 3,500. <laughs> I don't know anything about. I don't. That's a problem. I think that's setting. a problem with us. Okay, is the fact that we don't take the effort into learning like. CPU and, yeah. and and bit rates and graphics like, cards and like, I don't know anything. Yeah, you know, and 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 that that sucks for for many reasons. But when you when your computer and, and this is what I mean, like with the audio issues that we had at the original Optic Podcast, it wasn't that we couldn't afford to get. It's just that nobody knew how to fuck to do it. I thought you knew it. Like you're really good at. 
pretending Turning like you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so, I mean, on a lot of things, I know everything. Right, right, yeah, right. yeah. But you're good at pretending like you know other things that you have no idea about. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't know what it is, but I'm, you know who's really good, too, at doing that? Fuez. But we'll get. Are you kidding me? Yes, that's literally how Ryan you, built you, his entire <laughs> career. You, you spent how long with him this past weekend? Oh my God, the stuff that he makes up and pretends he knows about—it's incredible. Uh, incredible. Right? I've never, I'm never oh, amused. His big thing, his big thing was he ordered Taco Bell while at the at the uh, the like the club we were at at 1:30 p.m. because it closed at two. And he's like this the whole rest of the night. You just don't know how to order food late night. It closes by two. It gets here by three fifteen. The second you walk in your apartment, it's, it's there. been delivered, and you're like, "Fwiz, shut the hell up!" <laughs> you just got hungry for Taco Bell and ordered, and it luckily came at the time that you wanted. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's the gift of was it a gift of gab. I don't yes, know. whatever it is, Fwiz has it. Well, anyway, so it wasn't the it, we just couldn't find the right chemistry, and it sucks because we had a really good group. Like the stories that Embos used to tell, like I like legit made me fucking super laugh. You know, like obviously you're, you're his own hood. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like you obviously have good stories to tell, and it was so annoying because we couldn't do that. Now, Jack, as, a, as an outsider, right at the time, did you yeah. ever listen to the Optic Podcast? I was on the Optic Podcast. Oh shit, you were. Yeah. That's right. And uh, when was that? I definitely did. It was. Uh, oh, was that when you came to do the race? It was one of the no, it was one of the charity. Streamers. Oh, okay, that's what it I think was, it was yeah. the original MW two tournament, the first year. The one that Hitch put on. Yeah, because that was when I was fat, Jack, and then I lost thirty pounds the next year. I hate it. You on that keto, man? No, I'm not on keto. I'm he was on the gym. Uh, I'm on the. I actually go to the gym now. I'm on the stream. is more important, so it'll wait. Same. But that's same. about life. You too. Yeah. Well, I moved down here. I was like, I was consistent for maybe a week, and then it just. <laughs> What's the new city? And all yeah, that? you got to get out and explore. Went out the other night. You missed it, man. We. Okay, I, I asked this question, but I'm got so no one texted me i knew that we were gonna go out but i didn't know when and no one texted me was like yo we're still it's like this is what we're doing tonight so you need like double confirmation no i just what who what I, you know who am i gonna hit up like i didn't i thought i'm like oh they canceled we're like we're gonna have drinks in the city just come on but down. when though there was no not it was just a verbal thing i mean normal and, time it would be like eight to ten o'clock i would and, imagine and he's gotta realize like he's from a different generation so they used to like ring doorbells and stuff like that. Yeah, that's true. With the text, you got to be a little bit more on top. Yeah, of send notes on pigeons. But, but I will yeah. say this: completely forgot about it. Didn't even know until the following day. That I didn't even remind my remember until the following day that you that those we were supposed to go out. And I saw a meme that <laughs> Fwiz's brother tagged me, and Fwiz's older brother, um, fucking. In, if you ever Fwiz's meet older brother, yeah, Fwiz's old. If you ever meet Fwiz's older brother, you are going to be like, wow, Fwiz is a fucking copycat. Okay, because I'm I'll meet him at the wedding, obviously. Yeah, bro, so. his his brother is Fwiz and has the same mannerism, same tone, really? same tone, same everything. I don't, I don't know if I could deal with a room of literally two Fwizzes. No, but Mike's a little bit. He's he's like you know he's he's a little bit older, so he's yeah. like a more toned down. Okay, good. But you hear the he'll say something, and then you'll be like, that's sarcasm. But sarcasm at the level that sarcasm should always be at. Really? How old is his brother? What's the difference? I uh, think I think it's like a five to seven year difference. Oh, it's not that bad. Yeah, and like my brother and I are ten years apart, but you can totally tell what, like where Fwiz's mannerisms and all that came from, yeah. bro. He's looking up to his older brother. Yeah. Anyway, so he and I, when we went out for Fwiz's bachelor party, I'm like, "Yo, Mike, if like fucking one o'clock, we'll be back sleeping, bro. You down?" He's like. He's yeah. And I'm like, this is the signal. <laughs> I'm gonna look at you. I'm gonna be like this. That means meet me the fuck outside because the Uber's on its way. You can come and you can stay. It's up to you. Okay. And then he sent me a meme that said, uh, "When I was younger, we used to. It's like when we were younger, we used to sneak out of our houses to go to parties. Mm-hmm. Now that we're older, we sneak out of parties to go back to our houses. Yeah. And that's the truest it's fucking the statement ever. ever. I don't want to leave my house ever." <laughs> oh. You know what I'm saying? This were like it's anyway. So that's that was the thing. So I'm, I'm glad that you guys didn't text me because I would have been like, "Fuck, how do I get out of this thing?" Yeah, for sure. We didn't but, stay out too late. We were only out till like one o'clock. But don't luckily, get me wrong. I live I wanna, here now, so yeah. Next weekend, weekend yeah. after next, it takes a little while for me. Listen, to I'll, I'll tell you one now. thing. Next week, let's say Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, maybe Monday or Tuesday, mm-hmm. or maybe fudge. We got. Yeah, yeah I got to take it to the old fashioned at the at the private at the Cowboys private club. He's Ooh. been there. That sounds nice. Prestigious. I have gone. I mean, drink or I'm the down name to go of the, again. The name of the club is Old Fashioned. No, the the, the, the drink is Jerry's Old Fashioned. Oh, okay. At that's the Cowboys their, Club. Yeah, Jerry's Pitmaster. They do a good Old Fashioned. They do. I, I I don't know what the rules are, but I don't think they the people there like 
watch these videos. So it's a it's a private club. You got to pay for a membership to get in there, and you got to wait. There's like when I applied, there's a thousand person waiting list. You know what I'm saying? A thousand. Mm-hmm. Right now, I think there's like thirteen hundred. He's flexing on us right now. Wow. No, no. This anyway. is the place where Jerry Jones like flew in on his helicopter. Yeah, you can yeah. see it from the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. yeah. yeah. That shit was wild. Listen, <laughs> anyway, anyway, but they make the best old fashioned I've ever had in my. It's so smooth, bro. It's it's um uh, it's called Jerry's Pitmaster. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Jerry Jones being Jerry Jones, yeah, fucking great human being, incredible. Like I, you know, you the, the type of person you want. Like, one day I want to, you know, fly it in a helicopter and have like twenty businessmen just staring at me getting off my fucking <laughs> helicopter. Anyway, but he went to Maker's Mark and he said, "I want my own." my own select and he said i want a barrel that has a little you know tint or hint of vanilla i want a little smoke here what blah, blah blah anyway so he got it this whole you know jerry's private select maker's mark and wow. with that they make this thing called the, the jerry the jerry jones pit master and it is fire will next week you'll try it and I want you sure. to tweet out whether I was right or wrong Absolutely. because it is the most fire thing you'll ever have in your life. He's gassing a little bit. You, you, did you have it? No, I, 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 I like old fashions, but they're not my favorite drink. Okay, so Damn. did you have it? I did. It was, it, it was good. It was, no, a, it is it was the, an above average old fashioned. No, 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 no. It's the not. Average it, it's every, above average old fashioned? Above average. Everybody that I've taken there has said this is the best old fashioned that I've ever had. Everyone. There's no reason for me to lie. What the fuck do I get out of it? Shit. It's like, what? I'm not advertising. Nobody can go and fucking get it. You know I'm what not great at recognizing different like whiskeys and you won't understanding the difference. You like won't I had some uh, some 23 year pappy mm-hmm. a couple weeks ago. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It, it just like burned really bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so like, true. This is a hundred dollars, and I was like, I'm never doing this. Again. <laughs> yeah, I had to do it because I saw it on the menu. I was like, all right, this is what people do, I guess. Yeah, so I'll try it. But yeah. yeah, anyway, so it's a it's a it's a it's a good experience to to say the least. Um, When's anyway. cooking show episode two coming? Man, I don't know. I gotta we come should. Up. I gotta come up with something. We three should get together and do uh, a cook off show. I'm down, dude. We need like a. This place got a kitchen. We need like a we big do. kitchen yeah. somewhere. We do. I've, I've do done do cooking something. with courage uh, once on my channel. I made soup. Okay. But I decided I want to bring it back live and do. It's basically I want to do something I've never made before, so my yeah. viewers can watch me fail. Like yeah. I made the soup and I knew what I was doing. But I realized that the humor of the show and a lot of it came in, like, for example, there was one point where I was cleaning the dishes, mm-hmm. and I had my headset on listening like, listen to music, and this, the camera was right over the stove, yeah. and the water was starting to boil over because I was making pasta, too, yeah. for oh, the okay. soup. And, like, it is going everywhere. And in the in the video on my YouTube channel, we put the Twitch chat in it, and you just see all the people be like, bro, bro, oh, my yeah, God, it's all right. Yeah. You know, it's like this, like, nothing's going wrong. I walk back, oh! Oh, shit. It took me like a full minute to yeah, realize. Yeah, that's the thing. Do you do it as a cooking video where you're trying to cook good food, or do you let the water boil? Well, over? let me talk about my my show El Chefe, where I teach teach people how to make real, authentic Mexican cuisine. Oh, I okay? remember that. You got the little circle thing for the rice. Yeah, it plates it all. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I plated it well and all that. Mm. Uh, Fuiz, he's like Fuiz made a Mexican. <clears throat> A Mexican did. All right, so I made mine, and he talked shit about mine. And then I went to go look at what he cooked for Mexican shit, mm-hmm. and it was not Mexican. It was it was fucking Ohio, fucking Midwestern. This is the Fizz podcast, right? Yeah, now. <laughs> oh, it is. We're fucking yeah, yeah. Fucking Fortnite. We're on yeah. the Fizz podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, so I made. I have three episodes of El Chefe. Where I you teach did three. People. Yeah, three episodes. You did the uh, what's the meat? Co- I can never pronounce it. Correctly. Chile verde, no, carne no, con no. chile verde. The, oh, arrachera. Yeah, I see. The arrachera was like pre El Chefe, oh. but. Yeah, but arrachera is like the first time that I ever cooked anything. I just remember when you cooked it for us, and it was literally like some of the best meat I've ever mm-hmm. had in my life. I got so. skills. Now, it the the best part is when when moms and like it happened three times. Okay, so not the best part, but it happened three times, and three times three different moms with three different kids. So I was like, my son has never ever had interest in interest in cooking, but he cooked this for us. It was good, but I'm like, well, you know, I make it super spicy. Like it needs to burn. Yeah, yeah. Coming in and going out. I mean, I still remember the old uh, Will the steak, the steak. Uh, oh, the original one. The yeah. original. I feel like was that something that just like sparked when you were like, I, I should maybe do this more often. Yeah. Well, when I looked back like a few months later and realized it had like half a million views or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, it took me a little while after that to do anything else. Was that? Did you always cook, or does this? Because I know you've cooked more as of late. From like, it's just become like more of a passion of yours, or was that like the start of it? Yeah. I mean, I love food. You know, I always started, I guess I used to watch like the food, food network, same food channel chopped. I've probably seen every episode of chopped. 
Gordon Ram, like Hell's Kitchen, all that stuff. I just watch a lot of TV. And then uh, last year I ordered what is what is the meal service plated blue you know, like plated blue apron, blue apron? Yeah, yeah. yeah I started getting like five of those a week and like cooking them each night they send you like the ingredients yeah. and stuff you at least like learn some basic cooking principles and like kitchen I need to do that bro some knife work and stuff yeah, yeah. teach you how to cook pasta and stuff I was <laughs> this is what I that's what the, the, one of the things I don't hate but I don't like uh, about YouTube is that when you're cook like you'd cook something and be like like for example I'm like. The El Chef, and I was holding the knife the wrong way, okay? And a friend of mine, I'm, I'm, I'm godfather to his, one of his sons, he's like, you call yourself the chef? That You're not even holding the knife right. Yeah. And I was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck do you care? It's like anything else. You can't read the comments because everybody's got their own way oh to do something. God. They'd be yeah. like, dude, you got to get a lemon squeezer. Don't squeeze it with your hands. You don't get enough juice out. I was like, what? Shut up. Yeah, it's like, shut shut up. Are you fucking eating it? No. <laughs> you licking the screen? No. <laughs> But I understand like the interactive. Por- I, I I don't mind it. It's something that I've learned learned uh, to to live with. Yeah. But anyway, so you guys down to do a, a let's say we'll 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 pick something to cook. We all cook okay. it. Uh, we'll all you guys can all give me the footage. I'll edit it, and then we can like Not one episode much, can yeah. go on your channel. Episode number two of the cook off can go on your channel, and the third one can go on mine, and then we'll do a rotating series. That Is it way. gonna be like all things that neither of us have ever cooked? Well, I'll pick something and uh, I'll. I'll I'll cook the Mexican. Oh, we'll each do like a okay. yeah. Gotcha. yeah, yeah. So I'll be like, uh, today we're gonna make chilaquiles, and then yeah. we I'll give you guys the recipe how it's done, and yeah. and then you guys said, or, or, or I'll cook it first, and then we'll do it, and then we'll we'll figure it out off screen. Well, we don't That's do a good that. Idea, though. We're just brainstorming right now. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, the podcast turned into a brain. I don't know. It's better than talking about Fortnite. Every time I heard you guys are like the Fortnite podcast, bro. Jeez. But it's, it's impossible not to talk about. I mean, it let's is. see. We have. Nick here, who's literally number one in the world in squad kills on PC, because that's all he does. How did that happen? Who did he? Who who was this with? What was the? Squad? Oh well, no, no, no. There's two different things. He he tied the squad's record or beat the squad's record for yeah. kills, but yeah. he's also got the most kills in season five in squad's playlist at like X amount of thousand kills. Wait, seriously? Nick, n- on the leader has issues. Is that why he's not eating anymore? He's skinny. He's real skinny, man. I mean, just that was the first time I'd seen him in a while. Yeah, one of the reasons. something he really. That's he like wakes up. Does he that plays accurate. Fortnite that much? Yeah. Oh. oh, I had no idea. More than anyone else, yeah. including Jack. Uh, which Jack? I like the apparel. I'm rocking it. I'm uh, I'm really happy with how it came out. I think. Uh, thank you first off for ordering stuff. It means a lot. Um, yeah. Because I didn't get this for free. You didn't. No, you didn't. I I bought this you with bought my own money. CourageShadyStore.com. Yeah. Yeah. Best best place to find. I it always do that. Courage. I have this. I have this saying, and and it was it came from an argument that I, I didn't. Not an argument, but a discussion I had with, with one of my friends, who said it's like, yo, you know, hook it up with a with the optic shirt, and I was like, I'm like, bro, why don't you just buy it? He's like, what? So just give it to me, man. What's the, what's the big deal? I'm like the big deal, homie, is that you bought that fucking cop shirt for twenty five bucks, and you're okay with paying those people money who, you know, don't need it. I'm building a business here. You want free shit? You don't want to support my business. You don't That's want to what support? I told my mom. I told her she had to <laughs> I'm playing. I gave her one. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> yes. Good but that's like, I need two pairs of shorts. I'm like, uh, yeah. You know, I, I I often do that just, I don't know, being in the industry, like it, it kind of forces you to think like, how would I feel if everyone's fucking asking for free shit? I did, however, get this for free, which is the, the pop socket. Oh, man. But I love those. You I love should, like the feeling of. Like taking it out and then pushing it back in. It's the first one I've ever had, but I really. You have one too. Yeah, we did. So you I dropped your logo on it. Yeah, we dropped my logo well, one and the donut one, and then we have we have more styles on the way. Oh wow. Yeah, anyway, so, so I, I tried to do like a I should I should have gotten this for free with the amount of money that I fucking spent on you. What is it even for? What does it do? It's, it's to help the you. Actual socket. It, oh, just to help. Just you. to hold on. Yeah, yeah. hold, hold oh, the phone. Okay. It's, it's better it's for like stand. selfies and stuff. Yeah. Look at it. It's a stand. Um, but yeah, it gets in the way though when when you're trying to put it in your car. Like on your yeah, car holder? Yeah, you stick it on. Oh, no. I think that would be the next level thing to do, though. That's it. Like, man, oh, shit, you could. No, no, no. I'm gonna, no, no, I'm going to do that. It's like the hex chata. Yeah, for sure. It's like we the were, next fidget spinner. When we were on uh, we were on this last time, I don't know if you heard this, but we were c- trying to come up with our own G Fuel flavors. Mm. And uh, Hex came up with, he wants to do a horchata. So they call it the hex chata. Bro, that would be the best flavor. That's pretty good. That would be so good. What would, you, what would That's be your flavor? rice water? Yeah. yeah. I would. Do they have a... S- Sweet tea flavor? Uh, they have peach iced tea and lemonade. They don't have. But like I, don't real think, true I don't think they have southern, a true like, southern sweet tea now. That's it. 
Southern Comfort. That shit's copyrighted though, for sure. Southern Comfort, yeah, hundred percent. Oh yeah, yeah. I want. I, I told him, but I want to so- do uh, Southern Discomfort. I want to do Liquid Courage. It's the first alcohol infused G Fuel to uh, to combat like that's a great idea. Vodkas, but they can't do alcohol infused, but they can suggest it. Like if they have a G Fuel party, do right. like uh, the the drink is literally called yep. like Liquid Courage. Basically, something that just tastes good with alcohol for twenty one plus. We're of age. Got to get that disclaimer out there. You know, a lot of young. So fans. what would it, tea? Yeah. Oh shit! Big, sure. big T. Oh, the big T. The big T. How did I not think about right it? Wait, you didn't think about it? No. Oh shit! All right. Huh. I'm telling you, bro. G Fuel just send the contracts. It's lights out. Lights, lights, lights out. Well, um, I don't that. mean to break the immersion, but what is that plug? Because it's not plugged all the way in. Is that like the it's microphone? A light. It looks like. Do you ever get <clears throat> worried that like? Because you know, sometimes when you plug it in, you see a spark. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever get the same feeling like if you, if it's not fully connected or fully plugged in that the electricity you, is gonna like leak out yeah, and, and then and, yeah yeah and then <laughs> engulf everything in flames? I've had like a problem crawl since I you? since I moved in the outlet like the breaker kept tripping and I was trying to figure out what it was so I called them and they came out and they they flipped it and left and then it fucking tripped again in like twenty seconds so I called them back yesterday and we were searching all the outlets they were like plugging shit into it they're like yep we don't got juice here we got juice here we got juice here and we found you know the outlets that are in the floor yeah. it has like the ring yep. over yep. dude he pulls it up the whole thing is just drenched in water like somebody had poured water in it and he goes to flip the breaker no it, dude it just fucking sparks like out of the hole almost catches my fucking couch on fire so they literally had to like go in like drain all the water out unplug it like tie it off jesus dude it was wild it definitely could have really and safe. i was sitting over there and you can hear it too whenever it would uh like spark <laughs> But I didn't know where it was coming from. Yeah, and you, you it was underneath my couch, and every time I would try to flip the breaker to turn it back Fuck. on, it would do it again. But finally, I got it figured out. Imagine that shit's on. You accidentally spill your water. You're stepping in the water barefooted, and then both those waters meet. Lights out. Fucked. That's it. That's how buildings catch on fire. That's why I had that escape ladder at the last place. Now I'm, now I'm done. I need a. Helicopter. Yeah, get a parachute. Yeah, we talked about it in my vlog how the, the the escape route as to as to what it was that you would need in order to be able to survive a fire. Yeah, and there was. I mean, we worked that. We worked on it. You get bungee rope. You tie it around yep. this big ass pillar. You're you're safe. I've been yeah. watching this uh, self defense channel on YouTube because like it randomly got my recommended. Which one is it? It's the it's where the guy like talks about a scenario. I've seen, seen it. <laughs> my brother watches it. He recommends it because he's in. Like, he did. Like, oh, it's got like it's got like one point five active self protection. Yeah, yeah. Bro, it's, this guy's badass. Dude, this guy tells you like it breaks down these scenarios and like it's called like the room temperature, ch- the room temperature something like when when the robber the bad guy gets like straight up killed like they take the room temperature challenge because they go to room temperature and uh, shit's like crazy. But Dude, like learning wild. from it, like there's some where it's like for some reason in this one country, like this woman who's ca- a loan officer who's dealing with a lot of money. Mm-hmm. She's in a room that's got like terrible protective glass and no back exit. So like this robber comes in, yeah. sees her, tries to open the door. It's locked. He just busts down the window and then she's trapped in this room with no escape out. Like, I'm like, what the hell are you doing? I'd be like, no. Yeah. I'm not what do you that. do? Uh, he's, he's just trying to get out there. And he's run. got a lot of different scenarios. Yeah. Like he talks about, you know, sometimes you can just try to like comply with somebody because at the start of the video, he's showing real life scenarios. He even shows people that like, Straight up die. Yeah, I don't no, know how thing. he does it. Like I saw one guy who was pumping his gas. He was sitting in his car with his door open. Guy walks up and like shoots him in the head three times. And the guy was trying to comply. And that's why he was saying sometimes that shit doesn't work. Like even if you do what they say, you give yeah. them the money, they're still going to mess you up. Yeah. But you look at the guy and you don't think that he's like somebody who, I don't know, could defend himself. But the dude's like a black belt in jujitsu or something. And he has all this like, uh, what does he call him? Like skills. Barehanded skills, yeah. open-handed skills, or something. All I know is, dude, it's a guy that, like, you, 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 as you said, you would never think could beat your ass in a fight, and then yeah. like you try to fight him, and he'd like flip you over in one move. There's no such thing as that. Like, I've never ever been, I've never seen a person be like, I could kick his ass. You never fucking know. Yeah. No, well, you're right. It's true. But there, there, there was a video the other day of uh, UFC fighters out there in the street talking to his two friends. I think it's just like treading right now, and two guys just unprovoked walk up and just punch the one friend in the back of the head. And like, little do they know, of the two, the two of the other guys, one of them is just a straight up UFC fighter, no. and he, the other guy starts fighting him, and then he just gets right on the other dude, and immediately like has him on the ground, like wail on his ass. It's yeah. like, sheesh. I've seen I've seen one where it's like it's like a fourteen year old kid, and some dude's like bullying him, and and the dude's like, all right, fuck it, let's go. He takes off his jacket, fucking gets into it, 
arm locks him, like punches him a couple of times, then like fucking literally like f- jumps on him and then arm locks him to the to to some to submission. And the dude's like fourteen years old, and I'm like, that's a badass Jeez. little kid. The like, kid was way smaller too. Yeah. That's why he just never I, never. The, the quickest way to lose a fight is underestimating oh, like that because everybody get knows cocky. how to fight until they get punched yeah. in the fucking mouth. No offense. I bleep, uh, bleep the, that. The, 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 what you call it? Like, I love a good fight video, but the second a fight video loses me is when like the person who's knocked out starts getting like kicked in the head. Yeah. And, oh man, bro, you do that. That's and why it's, it says like that's the last case scenario. Is you never actually want to get into the fight. Yeah, see that everyone's crap. One lucky punch, you hit the ground, your head hits the concrete, dude starts kicking you, and you're just yes, you're, you're dead. You're you got you got like drain the, uh, See in my in, in my old days. Yeah, the second somebody got knocked out or got knocked to the floor, that's when you stop. You stop. Yeah, period. You know, somebody won. That's it. Walk away. It's all good. Right. Not no more. Not no more. It's fucking. I don't settle my fights in real life. I settle them in tilted. That's my. Here we go. That's, that's how you ended up in Fortnite. Will then. biggest culture shock since you've moved to Texas. Culture shock. Degrees. I mean, I grew up in Arkansas, so I think the culture shock was moving to Chicago. This is this is more homey to me. That's did you have a culture shock? Yeah, I did for sure. I did. 100%. I'm still having a culture shock. Yeah, this is this is what I grew up in, man. I, I do miss the food in Chicago, though. I'll be honest. I ordered a bowl of ramen the other night. There's this place in Chicago. It's called Ramen Son. It has like this real like pork belly, but it's super fatty and like succulent, the juicy, shashu. and it's got like a chard outside mm. too. Tried to order a bowl of tonkatsu the other night, <sighs> bro. I got this lame ass, little skinny ass piece of pork. It had no fat on it. It was just. I was hey. nibbling it like that. It was, That's weird, not though. Good, man. It's because, like my favorite food too. The, the, the way that I put it into perspective is like, imagine Chicago food with meat from Texas, because uh, that that, fire, that, yeah. that that you will get a culture shock on. The meat here, yeah. is is completely different than any other place I've ever been to. And I don't know, it's because it's you know they process it and then it's it's from processed to your table. Mm-hmm. It's like the freshest you're gonna get. They don't yeah. they don't freeze it and pack it and send it up to Chicago to I'm get cooked. I saw a few of them out there. I saw some. You saw some on the way here, but they were still cows. moving. They're still yeah. moving. That's a, next week's dinner. No, but, I uh, I mean I I grew up in North Jersey, eight miles from New York City. Went to school right outside Baltimore. Moved to L.A. for CWL. Moved to New York, literally Manhattan, for CWL. You know, last years, and then to Frisco. And it's absolutely been a culture shock for sure. What is it? Like, what about it? Uh, it's so rural. Um, it's it's not one of the hubs. You know, I'm always near one of the main hubs. It feels like. Um, so that's been the weird thing for me. And then, I mean, you've always known that I I I, I want to be back in Los Angeles. That's my number one thing. So, um, and and I do plan to be there in the next like three months. So you are moving in within the next three months. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, what is I hate I hate it there. The only thing the only thing I like about I was LA, there a couple weeks ago, I was just like I can't live here, man. Bro, I, I, I like the I like the people there. Obviously, I have friends there, yeah. but that doesn't just like a, a way of life. You know how expensive it is to get a house like mine in fucking LA. Can't do it. <sighs> Highest I mean, state taxes in the country, bro. Thirteen percent. I don't get it though. The plan I, is to, the plan is to hopefully make it so. So what? So you can get fucked harder. <laughs> you know, it. so money ain't a problem. Yeah, see, he gets it. <laughs> no, but it is when you move out there. I, I was ta- I was it's I listened so to a podcast. The, the Adam Carolla. Show. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but he's like been listening to him for over twenty years, and he and he always complains about taxes. And I'm thinking, I'm like, man, for a guy that's so logical, and I mean this, like this dude, it, 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 everything is black and white. There's no in between. It's either right or wrong, or it's either anyway. But this dude's like was talking about taxes and and i'm thinking like man he's he's got a lot of money so i can only imagine what that's like right. you know the the red wedding that we experience is no red wedding like that yeah you know so what want to move you can it's the age of the internet you can do your job from anywhere so what is it about la that you want to well, that, that, that justifies you spending as much as you will for a place yeah but then on top of that paying as much as you will for taxes that's where i want to be Simple what time. about it? Uh, lo- lo- love the weather. Love love the people that are uh, you know great. out there. Um, and it's <clears throat> it's where I see myself, whether it's in this this industry I'm in now or the next move I have in my career. It's where I see myself being. So, um, what could you put uh, acting? Uh, just the, the the business stuff out there and everything. Um, business stuff out there's everywhere, like everywhere. So if I could say I could be moving to Alaska, and you wouldn't want me to live. Move, move, Dude, Northern first. California, I could do. I went on a road trip a couple weeks ago, like a Big Sur and Highway yeah. One and all that. Yeah. Oh my God, those places are beautiful. Yeah. Like Monterey, yeah. in between San Francisco and LA. Ask, ask Judith. I'm, I'm gonna, in my old and when, when I'm in my, in my twilight years, I'm gonna be thankfully. I mean, hopefully there'll still be 
some forests left and and, and shit like that but i'm gonna live in a well it's gotta have high internet obviously because i still intend to play in call of duty when i'm like 90 Mm -hmm. but there has to be some sort of like i like i like california a lot la okay la is what i don't like Mm -hmm. santa monica all that like those these are all like small hidden gems but you're gonna pay your ass off to do that and that just is not justifiable for me to do that I just don't like L.A. I like yeah. the people there. So if you're an L.A. and an alien, don't get mad at me. That, that you should be mad at your city. It sucks. Yeah, they got cooked. Chicago. You like Chicago? I like Chicago. I love Chicago. The weather, fuck the weather though. I even even the winter is like not that bad. Kind of like dressing up, okay, like a ski mask and a throwing the peacoat and shit, <laughs> shit like no a ninja says, walking bro. down the street. I feel like a ninja walking down the street. Yeah, it's not, not so bad. Man. Not me, bro. bro. When not I anymore. lived in Burbank, man, the feeling that every day I got up. And I didn't have to. I didn't check my weather app once, and I just walked outside. And it was seventy five degrees. I mean, sunny. you're not gonna beat the weather. Yeah. I just. Yeah. It was so addicting. It just made me like such a. I was like, damn, this is this is legit. And I also, last time I lived in Los Angeles, I didn't have what I what I have now in regards to success. Uh, yeah. I mean, well, I this level is still still always been college, successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still finishing college. Like right. basically worked minimum uh, wage for CWL first year. Yeah. I'm looking at the. Uh, yeah, I'm better than. I'm me. looking at the at the map right now, and then I'm looking at L A. And then the next thing, if I go across, is is like Atlanta. Why don't you move to Atlanta? I'm looking in the, in the so Atlanta. I don't know. What does he got? What does he get now? This one. I, I don't know about Atlanta. He's really, man. he's really. I'm just street. saying that if you look, if it, I mean, the sun is has a lot to do with it, right? Like the only reason, it's 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 You're on the this. same it's on the same belt line. You're if you there's what no is it called the meridian? Because no not there's like there's, LA. there's latitudes and then there's. Listen, longitude. Um, so that's the longitude because it's no longitude is vertical, latitude go inside to side. There's also like earthquakes, but like is that an irrational fear? Like as someone who's lived in LA, like I was genuinely worried. Like we were going along the coast, Highway One, and I, all I could think about the entire time it wasn't like the heights and like realizing I'm on the edge of a cliff. It's like if an earthquake happened right now, I would fucking die. I'd be dead. I've experienced earthquakes in LA, and I've and I've, I've experienced never, one. I've the same experienced one. MLG Anaheim Black Ops Three Hotel Black Ops Three. Really? I was there. I it was a four point five on the scale. Everyone started tweeting about it. Oh my god! Oh my god! It was late. It was like eleven forty five, twelve. That was when that was when we used to be forced to share rooms. So it was me and me and Revan, and I don't know where it just felt like it just felt like you were on like a, like a little bit of wake. Like mm-hmm. that's what the, like everyone was doing. And I remember we were like trying to go to sleep, and I get up and like, you feel that? He's like. I thought I was just going crazy. And next thing I mean, like, look, you know, when twi- like Twitter or something happens, yeah, yeah. everyone's like, "What the f- earthquake? Oh my! What the hell was right, that?" And right. I'm like, "Oh yeah." So By the time you realize what it is, it's over. We were in the Hilton. Point. So it's like, yeah. I'm like on the 16th floor of this hotel. I'm like, oh, well, man, I, I don't. I was there. I That's don't remember it. that one though. I, 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 it's two things. I was either super drunk or it already was probably sleeping. That. Or already sleeping. But it was probably either. But the the other one was a champs. I don't know which champs it was, but everybody was there. We're all in the in the Ritz Carl, not the Ritz Carlton, the uh, the J W Marriott. Marriott. And then we were all having dinner. We were having uh, like dessert at that point, and then that's all the, the chandeliers. One, yeah, that's the one you that's experienced. That's the one. I, I, I thought somebody was shaking my chair. Oh shit! I, don't, me. I, I know turned around. Yeah. I was like, bro, stop! And then I was like, oh shit! What is that? <laughs> it's like, where What's were you on? during all this? I know where you were. Uh, and then the other one was. <laughs> The other one, the other one was, uh, where was it? In Burbank somewhere. I was laying down, and then all of a sudden, like the, the fucking floor shakes. Really? And I was in that in that mode where you're like about to fall asleep, and then it felt like somebody was like running down the hallway because I was in an apartment building, mm-hmm. and I was like, fuck. But that's again, that's the other thing. How are all these things not just the big f- ones going to happen one day? Man. Yeah, that's what I tell Nate shot like all the time. Like, you know, like bro, I like, can never get a good night's sleep. What, what do you? I mean, like, maybe it's an irrational like, fear, but it's yeah. not irrational at all. Scientists are saying that this is going to happen. The big one is on its way. You know what I'm saying? Like this, these are just I trust, facts. I trust. I trust the people who made the buildings. Good job, architects and dude. I, the, what, I saw the, something when it happens. It was going to cause. Man, I don't want to throw the wrong number out there, but it was a lot of damage. Like a hundred billion, two hundred billion dollars if, worth. Of the only way I stay is if I find the perfect place in Dallas to live near Maven. But even then, I don't know. Did bro, please. Yeah, really. Bro, yep. please listen to he me. He lives right like twenty miles. One, 20 miles one away. uptown apartments. That's where I stayed when I first moved here. You've seen the gaming setup. You've seen how it looks. Fire. Where he's at. Fire. 
But if I could recommend this one Uptown Apartments because you're you're like in the heart of Uptown. Like literally there's uh, White Rabbit, which is always popping Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Pop, and I mean popping. White I'm, Rabbit? Yeah, White Rabbit. I'm talking about Lambos, Bentleys. If I was single, a lot of girls. And I'm talking about all flavors. Is this close to Clyde Warren Park? Or? Yeah. It is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. it's, on, it's on McKinney mm-hmm. and... Um, it's not. It's, it's like one street over from Olive Street. Oh, that's you live on. That's across the like, street. Like from near where you live. <clears throat> um, it's. A, I guess it's a lot simpler not to say that like where you live because you have like a security at the bottom. Yeah, ain't nobody getting up. Like the nobody, Postmates guy couldn't even get up last night. I had to go down. That's what I. Yeah. First world problems. No, it's what you got to do is you got to tell your concierge. Well, like, yeah, nobody was at the desk. That was the problem, and they wouldn't let them in because you got to fob in. It's on McKinney and Ruth. Ruth. Okay. Is that close to like? Pearl and Olive and y'all yeah. are speaking a different language right now. Look at that. That's Pearl. <clears throat> that's Pearl? Yeah. Oh. Bro. F- I had to walk there tonight. Fire. I'm talking about like, I'm talking about we it is. the other way when we went for drinks the other night. We You guys walked. went to Deep Ellum? We were on McKinney. We just took the other way. There were like some bars that were. So, the okay. Do you know where the Whole Foods is? Yeah, I go there every day. Okay. Across the street from the Whole Foods. What? Yeah. Oh, so we were right there. We probably walked yeah. past it last night. Bro, it's fine. It's a dope ass building. So, Jack, if if you, I'll put you in contact with the, with the right people. Uh, it is it is in my opinion the best building in in uptown. It's 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 luxurious. It's good come by my spot first though, and then it's on top. Of, here, we're ready, ready. It's on top. Is, is your place on top of a uh, Texas de Brazil? Go to his spot first, because <laughs> <laughs> mine is. And then you take a left, and then there's a Chipotle. And a Seven Eleven. You walk across the street, little kitty corner, across from it, Whole Foods, yeah. and then White Rabbit is right there. And White Rabbit is popping Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You're acting like I do my own grocery shopping. No one does that anymore. Add cart. What's it called? Shop it's Instacart. Instacart. Jude does that. What is but that? Instacart is you pretty you much just go pick what you want from the grocery store, and someone goes gets it for you and brings it to you. If I want like fruit and vegetables, though, do they? No, they they they'll knock. They pick on out it. good stuff. Yeah, they'll knock on the they watermelon. The knock. Okay. They, not, they do the knock. Jack, what would it take for you to not leave? Uh, $10 million. <laughs> Let's say, uh, I don't know. Because uh, who, okay, look, your best friend Maven is now in Dallas, okay? Yeah. What are you going to do? Go go be second best caster next to Fuez in, in, in L.A.? I mean. Go golfing with Nate Shot? Listen, man, it's a, it's a sore topic for Fuez. He doesn't want to admit it, but. It's all right. You know, Maven said it right to his face. Said what? Uh, no, Maven. Last time Maven. <laughs> I think last time Maven posted on Twitter about uh, like Jack, like just being like Jack was the best cash ever cast cod. Like, yeah. you're, 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 you don't say that you're lying to yourself. I think I think uh, like Ryan texted him and they went back and forth via text for like 30 minutes about it. Yeah. Because you know, like struck a nerve. Yeah. I I I, I look. Fizz was. I'm not really gonna get into it because he was he was good. Oh, was dude, dude, I, I, there, there but, was so many. But I just like there. pissing you, not you, not you, but like I, I do like to throw it out there because there's a little bit of not a brainwash, but people will agree with it and they'll be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh my god, are you kidding me? The rose colored glasses and give it two more years, I'm gonna be the best analytical caster in COD history. You might never did an analytic, but people just love to look back on certain things. Yeah, yeah. like that's just how it is. I the second know. someone goes goes away, it's like you know, the prodigal. Uh, prodigal person and it just adds up you just wait until maven finally retires yeah he's gonna get a shrine i mean i, I he is he is good though oh of course clint's incredible yeah it's, it, he's i think he's definitely the best caster i casted with um and just purely being able to speak know what's important to bring up and then the the the, the from casting so much together knowing the cues and what to do and we knew exactly how to set up. He loved that he could trust me to hit the hype or I could trust him to hit the hype. One thing that I didn't know or never took into account or never even thought about was when you said, I wrote down three things that I was going to say so you can just like go back and say, like, the dynasty That was the only time been- I ever did it. Oh. But it was because Maven told me before that grand final started that he's like, Jack, this is your moment. This is my first champs final. He's like, you, this was, you know. You, you wrote you, down you, what you wanted well, to say? Well, because right before the Optic Envy uh, Grand Final for yeah. IW, he like he literally looked at me and was like, "Matt, nice." Like, he was like, "You're you're doing the final call because it would either be me or Maven. Matt wouldn't do the final call because that's not Matt's role in the cast." Um, but he's like, "This is yours, man. Like, crush it." So like, as I was like, "Oh my god!" So for the first time in my career, I knew like it was going to be set up on a 
plate for me. So yeah. I just wrote down my four lines for optic and for envy. And it was the, the curse has been broken. The dynasty has been submitted to there. The greatest roster in Call of Duty history. Optic Gaming have officially won the Call of Duty World League Championships. And I've heard that a thousand times. And I You wrote will that say, down before the matches were yeah. played because you knew Optic was going to win. Well, he, he, drove, he wrote both of them. Why did you write for Envy out of curiosity? Uh, I know that the dynasty has been cemented. was also in Envy's because that was back-to-back CWL championships, which mm-hmm. was the first time it's ever happened. Um, uh I actually think I had a line of humor in it. I was really toying with you can't sp- everyone at that point. Everyone was saying you can't spell jetpack without JCap because mm-hmm. he would have won all three jetpack Cap champs. Yeah. So I think my third line was going to be you can't spell jet like like literally just say it like that because everyone that was like the number one meme then. Yeah, but it was like true because uh, he's a jetpacker. Um, but no, I, I I forget the first line. It was something history has been made or something like that because it was like the first time someone won back to back. That was that was going to be the big thing, but uh. But yeah, it was, do you? It was nuts. All right, now let's get controversial. I was gonna bring up the fact that Will won the first, you know, million dollar tournament for like the Cod, Cod XP. Yeah. Do you? This is this is more of a serious question, and you can answer this too as a professional Call of Duty player at one point. So forever and always, there's been this thing, and and we've like up until this year, we've always been the most dominant Call of Duty team. Period. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, you know, except for when well, obviously the the, the those. Yeah, you know the Fericos and the complexity. You know those teams but for the last two and a half years. Good. For the last two years, right? So we've been the most dominant team in yeah. Call of Duty. Nobody beat our asses, but we just never closed it out. We never won the uh, the, the championship until last year. And everybody always said, if you don't win the championship, even though you you won the majority of the tournaments this this year, you're still not the best team because you didn't win the one championship. Yeah. Do you agree with that? And if so, are you saying that if we win champs in two weekends or one week as, as in, in, in a weekend. Does that make us the best team for the year, even though we lost every single one? It's, People give too much weight to it, I think. I think so, too. Champs. I think, like, I, I don't think, no matter what happens at champs, I don't, I, I mean, I don't know how you say, it's tough. I, I, I don't know how you say Rise isn't the best team of the year. Yeah. You know, like, yes, TK did well in the beginning. Rise has done well more as of late. Um. Yes, TK just won the playoffs. So it's a little bit tough. I guess you could make an argument for either. But then again, both those teams have all done roster changes too. Like yeah. Methods was on rise and they won. It was the MVP and they got dropped. Like, you know, they all had the TK guys and then they all switched up their roster. Um, I think if if they win champs, the the, the year is kind of like, oh, okay. I feel like you look at it and like, we're ready for next year. Like last year wasn't a complete failure. It wasn't a big success, but this team is sticking together because they have what it takes for next year's game. It's so weird, though. But I think people so the question though the question it. is: if we win, are we the best team no. in it World War Two? No. In the previous years, that was the thing. It's though. like icing on the cake. People know who the best team is, like throughout the year, through all the individual tournaments. But there are like you do have to be able to perform under pressure, and if you just never can get that championship, yeah. then yeah. it's hard to say that you're the best team. But if you can do both, there's no there's no doubt. There is at like, that point. I feel like there is that little bit of cod where it is just like that day to day. Yeah. Sort of part of it. Obviously, like if you show up on a Saturday at Champs and play well, then you win and you're the best team ever. Like, no, it doesn't yeah. work. Like Not that. the best team ever, but the best team for the year. Because that's 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 always been our argument, and, and Seth has argued this left and right. When we lost, I did we which one did we win? I W. Yes. What was the one before that? Black Ops Three. Black Ops Three. Right, so we won the most championships in Black Ops Three throughout the season. Mm-hmm. Who won? Champs. Yeah. Envy. Envy won champs. Yes. For Black Ops Three. Yes. It okay. Splice. Yeah, but we won the majority of them. Let's say we won seventy percent of the of the tournaments that year, and right. we lost that one. People were always like, "Ah, Optic can't close. Optic can't close." So they're not the best. They're the best. And then the year before that, same thing. Well, that's the tough th- thing is that year ended with Envy becoming, uh, winning the last two major events, um, like two of the last major events. So it was like, oh, they're like Envy were the Envy ended for sure as the best team at the end of the year. Yeah. Like if TK were to win champs right now, I think you would put TK as the best overall org of the year because they won the first two events the first two opens they won playoffs which is the second biggest event of the year stage two playoffs holds more value than stage one playoffs for me because it's the one that leads into champs yeah and then they won champs so they won the two biggest events of the year they won two of the <clears throat> six major global opens um but yeah for example if tk wins at champs then that you look at them as the best team at the end of the year mm-hmm. for sure um 
I don't know. I just th- I I agree. I think too much weight is put on the on the one on that one tournament. Yeah, I don't know. If you win seventy percent of the tournaments throughout a year, you're probably the best team. Yeah. Well, yeah. People, people don't see that. That's just fucking annoying. But yeah, that's always been the case. What? How do you? How do you? What do you think's going wrong with the team right now? I I I, I get asked this seventy five about the toughest part of streaming is I get asked the same questions <laughs> seven thousand five hundred times a day. Yeah. Um, and we try to make commands for as many as possible, but. Like, I get asked, who's going to win champs? I don't know. I haven't thought enough. What's wrong with the COD team? I don't know. I don't follow enough. Like, it, it, this is actually something I want to talk about really quick. I actually find it so strange. There are some people on the COD competitive Reddit, and they are trolls who get downvoted to shit, but there are some people who genuinely hate me. They literally think I'm a money-grabbing, uh, uh, betraying, terrible person who you don't owes cast everything, anymore, who owes everything to cod esports and the fact that i literally don't host cod esports at the end of every stream and tweet out the stream and i'm like bro what like i i I went to anaheim my first two weeks of me not being in cod casting for example i didn't stream the entire weekend of the first open event that i wasn't there because i didn't i didn't want any attention taken away from it i've I've made sure to go about it when what i think is the right way Mm -hmm. but there are people out there that still think like it is ridiculous that i'm not promoting more cod playing more cod because i owe everything that my fan base has literally got under 20% now of my act. My total fan base is from when I was a CODcaster. Yeah, yeah. I had like 300,000 total followers, and now I have like 1.4 million since, mm-hmm. I, since I left. Yeah. Right. So like literally, I tweeted out yesterday, most of my fans don't even know what 015 is now. Yeah. Even though that was my that was the core yeah. of my brand in yeah, COD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't put too much weight in it. Like, oh, there's I always I yeah, there's always somebody that's going to say something. Then you meet them in real life. And there's nothing like wrong with being a kid or something. But you meet these people and you realize like, wow, you just don't have a lot of life experience. Like yeah. I see why some people troll and don't understand. It's because they're kids. Man. Like people, like, people think I play Fortnite strictly because I'm like, oh, I'm getting all this. I'm getting money and seeing success. But. It is genuinely the most fun I've had in a game. It is now my top three multiplayer games of all time. Oh, no doubt sure. in my mind. Mine too. Yeah. yeah, it is. It is. I genuinely love it. And when I when I don't want to play it, guess what? I I just don't play it. Like, mm-hmm. and right now I want to play it. Yeah. You'll know when I'm tired of it. I'll stop my stream early. I, I'll not have energy. Yeah. There are days where I'm like, I don't want to do this. You know what I'm saying? And I just end my stream early. I took like a month off of Fortnite for a little bit. Well, it's like while I was moving and stuff too. But I started playing on console, and it's like a brand new game. It's a lot of fun. I've been playing every day for like the past four days. On console? On console. Was it hard? It's hard to get used to at first, but as somebody who played, you know, PlayStation and Xbox for years, it takes a couple days, a little bit of grinding. I'm out there building with the pros. Are you really? What have you, what what, would you use the scuff? Obviously, do you you use the new scuff with the, I don't think it's out yet. No, it's not, just it's not for some. The yeah, is just not for some But they just put so many crutches into it now, like it's turbo building. Um, they give you like automatic sprint, so you don't have to click it in on the left stick. It just always does it whenever you move your controller. Like they make it easy to kind of like navigate the world and build quickly. But yeah, it's fun, man. Do you play? Um, okay, when Call of Duty, are you planning on playing uh, Black Ops Four? When yeah, it comes out? yeah, of course. Okay, there's gonna obviously Blackouts coming out. This is the battle royale game. You're you're switching over to PC 100. percent I mean, it just strictly all depends on how good it is. As simple as that. If yeah. I but if I can play Blackout on PC with 200 frames plus, it's hard for me to play console when I'm locked at 60. Agreed. What are you? Console. I'm better at console. Like, what? I'd rather be good at the game. And there's enough people that watch console gamers because th- they own consoles themselves. Like, but I don't. I, for me, I don't think it makes a difference. You know, because I used to watch you know PC montages for Call of Duty 4, <laughs> just the same as everything else. Mm-hmm. I think you're going to be in the same boat that, that, that I am in, all right? And, and, and here it is. If you are able to play PC graphic games by plugging in your scuff into a, into a PC, you get the benefits of the graphics. You get everything. Oh, but you're at a disadvantage at that point. You're getting snapped on. I yeah. yeah. What? I would either – for me, it's – it's one or the other. One or the other, hundred yeah. percent. If you're no... gonna do, if you're gonna do a crossover, you plug in your keyboard to the console, then you just fucking destroy like for it. example, a game that you can get away with playing on controller is like Rocket League. Like Rocket League, you play a controller on PC and you're fine. Right. Yeah. If, if you're playing a shooter, if I'm going up against Shroud, oh, dude, no and chance. I can start to shoot at him and he can go, <laughs> I'm not playing that. I mean, you do Screw get the that. benefit, like in Fortnite at least, there is some heavy auto aim. I didn't realize until yeah. I started playing on console. Oh, bro, it's I impossible watch. to miss. Yeah. Like, oh no, I watch like. And that's one of the big discussion points is you watch some of these guys play in these other tournaments 
and don't get me wrong, they are incredible. Yeah. When you watch the aim assist on the AR, like oh, it's insane. track the jumps, and you're like, not only that, you play GTA where you can kind of just like hit L1 and just scope in, and you get the auto aim lock. Yeah. Because as soon yeah. as you scope into somebody, you get the lock. So if you're shooting at somebody from a distance, you just do well, the no, lock over wa- and over again and watch, just shoot. Watch Nick Murchie's attack shotgun. Every time he goes to shoot, he, he darts his his left trigger and yeah. to, to yep. hit that pop shot every yep. every single time. And mm. I mean, it's inc- it's the smartest thing to do. But it's I, I my 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 concern. I look I I think I think that if you put it, I'm, uh, I may be dumb, but in, in my brain and the way that I see this going down is like I I can play on a high sensitivity. I played on high sensitivity the majority of my of my of my gaming career because of, of sniping. Mm-hmm. So I don't think you know you know Shroud obviously with talented professional players you're always going to be at this advantage. Yeah. But I think against the 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 common the common folk, ten years of muscle memory of me using a controller. I can't throw that away. I think if I went into a PC Fortnite lab, like I'd still get kills for yeah. sure. You could still build and do stuff. But when it comes to the extremes, like the best players on PS4, yeah. the best players on there's no, no comparison. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm at the mercy of whatever Hutch and Diesel want to fucking do. Unfortunately, because the Let's do console, man. I want to do console. Yeah, but I don't know what the fuck they want to do. I want to do console. Period. If if if. But the quality of the of it the depends. visuals. Are you trying man. to have yeah? Are you trying to have fun or are you trying to have people? Watch? I was trying people to have fun. Watch com- if you suck. I loaded up Destiny two on PC, and then it came out on beta for PS four the next week or whatever. Yeah, I literally turned it on PS four and I went. <laughs> Just turned it turned off it off immediately. Yeah. When I could play Destiny at the hundred eighty plus frames, and yeah. it was so beautiful. Yeah. To then go and play it on thirty FPS console. Yeah. Uh, there's no comparison. It's it literally it almost made me feel physically ill. Yeah. I would rather not experience the game. That's what I'm saying, though. If I could plug in my controller and play game, but then you're playing against. It's I'm in such a crossroads it, in my in my Call of Duty life for the first time I've ever been in. It depends what you're trying to do. Are you trying to have fun? Or are you trying? To I like, like to. I want to play some game battles, S and D matches. That's the best PS4. Yeah, for sure. I'm playing. Uh, I'm using PS4 for that. But for black, I'm literally specific, talking specifically Blackout. I might rather only play on PC. But the issue is, I have all my competitive friends who are obviously going to be on PS4 because yeah. it's not changing. Yeah. I'm but playing. The other side, I'm not going to. I'm not going to pick between them two. I'm going to say I'm playing on. I'm, I, and I was talking to my to my friends about it. And like, five. What, five. <sighs> I agree. Might happen. Might happen. Look like, for esports. You mean? Everything, I, look, everything you've done for the game has been five v five so far. Yeah. I I'm I'm I said that this was going to be the think year, that that's, and that's I think, the match between. What's the best way to go from six v six and four v four? Put it at five v five, and you make the meet middle ground. Six v six is what pubs normally pubs are, right? are. Yeah, and uh, force everyone into a roll. And it's a good idea. Make man. the map Just switch it around, it. change it up a little bit. But the issue is, and this goes back to the downside of the three year COD development cycle. That does not mean the next Infinity Ward game that comes after that is going to be five v five focused. Right. So now they all have let's to say work let's just say it. I have no intel anymore. I know nothing. Right. Yeah. But there's always the rumors of five v five next yeah. year. We've all seen it. Yeah. Let's just say CWL goes 5v5 for next year. Mm-hmm. That changes the entire structure. Of course. That changes how the prize pools are, changes how the travel budget is, because now you're splitting a prize pool f- five ways instead of four. Mm-hmm. You know, the, wh- What's to say the next year is going to go right back to 4v4? And then you're like... And then what happens to that one player? What happens to one player? What happens to everything? Because if, if you're going to go 5v5, you almost need to increase the prize pool. I don't think... Double down the I don't. I don't think Activision would be that... that I'm not going to say... And I don't want to be offensive here. I don't, I don't think that they would not plan ahead enough to say, all right, if we do five v five, it's gotta be it has to be five v five from here on out. Yeah. But, the but, same way the same way that they did jetpacks. So when verticality came in, the other two the other two developers were already had that in mind. So last year they said from here on out we're gonna go five v five. Treyarch started doing a five v five game and then uh Infinity Infinity War is gonna do Infinity War is gonna do five v five and then uh, Sledgehammer is gonna do five v five. They're already working on the five v five format. They have to that, there's no way that they but, don't. but, but they really need to change that. the game to Compensate for five v five competitive. Like, what do they need to change exactly? The maps. Or? Who the fuck knows the maps? Well, I mean, well everything. Here's changed. the thing. It's not. It's not that. It's that they're going from six v six on every map right. to now being five v five, and it's more about the pacing of Call of Duty and always finding people. And every time you drop in, you're right. You're you see a gunfight in ten seconds. Like, there are certain things that like I know that on the internal like design team side, they they want to make sure they hit. It just makes sense. Like if I'm a COD developer, I feel like one of the check marks like. They want when you spawn in on average, you can get a gunfight within eight seconds. No, oh, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My thing, I don't know. Uh, look, I, I I just I just set up the land center in my in my office for the boot camp, and then I started playing Blackout. I started playing uh, World War Two, 
to just you know see if it's working, see how the lag is. A fucking in- incredible internet. Um, I I was playing a map called Carrington. I don't know what it's called now, but it, it was Carrington. I jumped out of a window and I'm like, "What the fuck? This is Carrington?" My brother's like, "Yeah, where have you been?" Not not on Call of Duty. That's yeah. where that's where I've been. I've been anywhere anywhere and everywhere except for. I Call can't of believe Duty. how little. I mean, little I play. I was on pace to break my entire year of IW streaming. I did in a month of of uh, Call of Duty World War Two, and I was like, "Wow, I'm going to shatter all this." And then now it's no it's game. I mean, inf- infinite wait, infinite. Infinity War, Infinite Warfare, Infinite, Infinite Warfare. Warfare was made by Infinity Ward. Yeah, Infinite Warfare. I didn't play. A, I played maybe when we did the race, and then after that, I saw Modern Warfare Remastered for the entire year. Nothing. Nothing. And I hate. I hated Modern Warfare Remastered. I mean, I, I hated that. Why? I I just hated that you you, you everyone was shooting fifty caliber bullets that insta killed everyone. It felt so shit. Yeah. yeah, well, the real I'm not no, no real real, war. real men and women used to play that game. Well, my time was about right. I was a child, but yeah, I played. For sure. You know what I'm saying? That's that's where Call of Duty was at its best. I, I played, played a ton of it. I, I had two Tenth of Street 55 accounts. XX Lethal One XX was my COD Four gamer tag name. Was it that similar to the original? I didn't play I, it that much. No, I, I, I like Modern Warfare Remaster better. Uh, oh, th- Those yes. like little little things that I didn't I, I, like like, but I loved the 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 fact that I could buy a wrench for my melee weapon. Oh, I was yeah. a broken bottle for my melee. Like there's a lot of things that they did. But they as far did, as like the gameplay mechanics, like Time to Kill was pretty similar to COD. <laughs> that's yeah. my that's my biggest. I, I, bro, it, you you would shoot your M16 and the first bullet would kill someone, and you'd be like, I remember the first time I, I remember getting a lot of one burst, but you would have to hit like the entire bro. Burst. There would be times when I'd play like MWR and I would I would shoot someone, I'd be like, what just happened? Yeah, there was dude, you could cross map with a scorpion, the little oh yeah, okay yeah, on 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 overgrown when they're crossing the bridge, yeah, okay, with the scorpion, yeah, that's no, there there was there was don't do it again, don't cross the same way. You know, it, it, like you can use it, use it, use it as well. I'm just saying there's, it was a little bit off. It oh, man, I, I don't know if it, if if I'm romanticizing that's, a, a that, time that's in my life. That's rose-colored glasses, exactly. Yeah. That's always. But what it, is. It, it was it though, because I loved playing Modern Warfare Remastered. I loved it. Oh, yeah, I don't no, know. No. I'm saying great. rose-colored glasses would have been like if I play Modern Warfare Remastered. I'm like, oh man, I don't like it. But I loved it. I loved it more than the original one. So there's like, uh, for, for me in this situation, it wasn't. No, you know I'm, I'm saying, saying I'm I'm speaking on like a different thing. I'm just in general. Of, of old, old certain parts of old games like that, like I think I think rose colored glasses is gonna come in with World of Warcraft vanilla, because like people look back on it like they're so excited for it to be dropped again. But like some of the beauties of World of Warcraft vanilla back then was like no one knew how to beat these bosses. There wasn't guides you could look up. It was you had to form these forty man parties out of just like meeting people on your guild like server and trying to get it all together. Gaming is so different now. Yeah, gaming is so different now. People like look back so fondly on taking like thirty five days played to get to level sixty, like max level. Like everything is so different now. Do I think that there will still be that niche thing? Yes, but do I think it's gonna be what people think it is? No, at the same time. And it's just like people look so much so fondly on Black Ops two rank play. Like, first off, my video with Optic Big Timer was one of my favorite videos I have. That's what I'm talking about. See? My, my, Which my one? Fanboy. It's private on my YouTube channel. It's when I It's uh, still private? Why are you I why are you it would doing be so much this? better if I had my webcam on, but like webcam on with it, but it, it I, I matched Will in a, in a rank play game and recorded it because that was when I was like trying to be a YouTuber for like two weeks back in 2012. And uh, hey guys, this is Courage the Gamer here, and I actually met up with a in a rank play game with the, the guy from uh, Big Timer from Team Optic. That's the way I said it. And I was like, he was streaming, so he didn't have his mic in, but at the end he was like, man, I had some good teammates. Yeah, this guy. You was were sick. one of them. Yeah, because him he was like 36 and 19, I was like 32 and 17. I was like. <laughs> this is a big day. I'll never forget Black Ops 2 rank play. First season, I get ranked in Masters, and I'm like, sign me on a fucking pro team, baby. I thought that meant everything. Yeah. And I'm scrolling through, like, my, my, you know, you had like your little pod of people. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm scrolling through, and I'm like, 132nd is what I got placed at. So I open my thing. 136th Optic Nate shot. I'm, I'm a higher rank than Optic Nate. You were I'm basically better than, better than nature. nature. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what my mind was. Yeah, I didn't know yeah. what the gravity ranked yet. All I knew was I had a symbol. It reminded me of Halo 3. Yeah. But at the same time, the, the downsides of rank play begin to get exposed when people are getting hit offline. You'd lose one game and lose 150 points. <laughs> yeah. get 10 the next And then time 10, you win, your next uh, 10 wins, and then you just lose another and all that. Pro- like, yeah. People yeah. forget how much you would literally just shut up. You'd shut up. You'd shut up. So annoying. And, and like that's the road's called glasses, people remember. I made a bold statement at the start of Call of Duty World War II where I was like, this, I think, is going to be the best rating system we've had. And I was like, I, I think it is better than Black Ops 2 right? is it? League Play. With the plans that I had heard were made for it, 
and with the expectations I had for the patches to come, the base of Call of Duty World War II rank play was better than league play. But it was never acted on. It was never updated. And, and uh, I had faith, and it wasn't, it wasn't followed through with. Uh, so people don't like World War II rank play? I haven't really kept up uh, No, it, and it, it's gotten some legs as of late, but it was uh, – they had the whole MMR system and everything, but then you, yeah. basically the second you get ranked with an unranked, uh-huh. they were com- they were a complete bot. So little Johnny 27 would join in and like you would have – Even three, if you're a high rank, oh, you, you still get be, matched you, with those. Exactly. You would be near masters and you could get ranked with an unranked. Really? Because like they were just figuring out their MMR. It made me – like that's what made it so, so terrible. Oh, yeah, no joke. Um, and then still, like, the people abusing it and hitting people offline, which will always be a thing on console and being annoying. But, uh, but yeah, no, that was, like, like I mean, the other thing, I shouldn't even talk about it. I'll get yelled at, so I'm just going to move on. Hmm. All right, so uh, to end it, do you think, yes or no? No no need to get into, like, a, like a why. Yep. Do you think that it's going to 5v5 esports next year? <laughs> I have no idea. Anybody knows more than me. I literally just say yes or no. I'm just kidding. What do you think? Uh, Yeah, I'm going to say yes because I just think of how they're building out the core of the game. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's either way. Yo, does the uh, the blackout, does that come out this weekend or it's just? No, no it's, it's just uh, multiplayer. That beta, I think, I think that beta is in September. Oh, that's still soon. I'm so mad. I'm going to be in Chicago for a wedding and I'm going to miss the beta. You trying to get some games in? Hell yeah! I, I'm going to buy PS4 after this. What is it? Friday starts Friday. Uh, I think so, bro. I'm so. I told ma- Maven. I'm I want Maven. I want Maven to bring his console to my place, and we just hang out, stream. Yeah, and he just you guys you guys should do it out of my out of my place. Like with land set up, set up, ready to go. Dude, post it on your channel too. You post it on my channel. You know the whole night. <laughs> so you get me food. I mean, I'll get some moves. fuck that. <laughs> um, anyway, I think I think so. Yes, uh, especially after Vonderhart tweeted out those. Five black dots and then a three. Um, oh, I didn't I didn't see see three that. boxes. Did you see it? No. Five dots, three boxes. Five dots, three boxes. The middle box has a white box in the middle. It's a Morse code type shit. Yeah, I don't understand. I just, I think so. I think so. I say it yes. It's, 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 it's been is, long a coming. What I get excited about is they showed the trailer and I saw a raid in it, and it's gonna be dope when you're like, yeah, let's push Newtown. Try to push Newtown. Yeah, yeah. Loot, loot. Is loot, is Newtown looted? No, no, no. Fly, push let's let's push towards raid like that's so sick did you see that trailer you think that's gonna be part i of didn't like see the trailer what trailer did you, you didn't see a trailer I didn't the only see it, trailer no. that you i've s- been broken this down on your youtube channel yet no. better than will now bro <laughs> the, the the only the only <laughs> wait so it's the different multiplayer so maps yes, and no. you just travel to so, the different so yesterday multiplayer they showed maps. the multiplayer beta trailer yeah first minute and 45 seconds all normal multiplayer right goes black next thing you know and it's like all this like cryptic sounds and it's like shows like two three people on like ATVs riding and then a helicopter starts flying. It's the first gameplay of like what they say for blackout. Oh, the shit. guy like snipes the guy in the helicopter. Then like next thing you know, all the stuff's happening. But then it starts to go into like more of like trailer mode and yeah. it's like cutting in and I don't know where like for like a one frame it cuts to two guys like walking towards Nuketown and it's like it looks like Nuketown post nuke. Like that's what it's going to look like in blackout. Oh, then it shit. shows two guys running and it's raid by the statue, the ring yeah. statue on raid. Shit. I haven't seen this. No. This How did I not see anybody talk I saw, about I this saw the Twitter. I saw the one where he shoots the guy out of the helicopter with the 50 cal. That's that's the blackout. But I didn't stuff. see, I didn't dissect it, I guess. I was in the middle of something. Anyway, oh, man. Uh, that's going to do it for this podcast, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed it, as usual, please leave a, a like, share it with somebody. Uh... And yeah, welcome Will back by leaving a like. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one. Someone hit him with the music. We love you.